Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently started rolling out this month, August 2021's Patch Tuesday cumulative update, which is KB5005033, and that is for Windows 10 versions 21H1, 20H2, and 2004. And this update started rolling out earlier this week on the 10th and 11th of August, depending on where you find yourself in the world. Now, the main fix this update carried is for the print nightmare printer vulnerability that has uh, been ongoing in the Windows operating system recently. And it also carried fixes for the ongoing nagging uh, gaming and performance issues that so many Windows 10 users have been experiencing since earlier on this year. Now, unfortunately, there are now some user reports that the update KB5005033 may be causing gaming and performance issues again. Now, this is only a small amount of user reports, but it's still concerning as uh, the update has just been released and already we are getting negative reviews and reports. Now, this isn't the first time that this is happening. And these gaming and performance issues have been ongoing since around about March and April of this year. And those issues include, you know, reduced frame rates and stuttering while gaming and general media playback and performance issues as well. Now, it's not yet known if these new issues are confined to the latest update, KB5005033, or they are the ongoing issues that have been going on since earlier this year. Now, as yet, Microsoft hasn't acknowledged any of these known problems, but obviously we are hoping to hear from them in due course. And this is the update I'm talking about. If you go to uh, uh, Windows Update, View Update History, KB5005033, which was this month, August 2021's Patch Tuesday update. Now, if you are unfortunately experiencing any of these issues, although it's not advised, you can go uninstall the update and you just click on Uninstall Updates. You go down, you find the update, KB5005033, you click on it, you click on uninstall, you follow the uninstall prompts, you restart your device, and that will take the update off of your machine. And then hopefully Microsoft will roll out and release a fix to this problem in the not too distant future. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.